What's going on guys, it's Paul here, and if you are a backpacker and you're trying to decide exactly what you wanna put on your wish list this year, or if you're not a backpacker and you're trying to figure out what in the world to get the person in your life that is, then you have come to the right place. I also wanna say a quick thank you to Backcountry for sponsoring this video. So let's get right into it. I've got 10 primary items plus a couple of extras to go along with those things. More than half of what I'm gonna talk about is below the $50 range, and I'm gonna start my way on the lower end and then work my way up in price. So the very first gift that I'll talk about are freeze-dried meals, such as these from Mountain House or Backpacker's Pantry. Now they make all different flavors, shapes, and sizes of these. They typically run for around $10 a piece, and they make excellent gifts for backpackers because that way, the next time they're planning a trip, that's one less thing that they have to think about. The second gift recommendation that I have, which would go along perfectly with some of those freeze-dried meals, is a titanium spork such as this one from Snow Peak. Now these things are excellent because they're super lightweight, they're super strong, they last forever, and you can typically find them for about $10 a piece. Now, as of the time of posting this video, the majority of the items that I'm gonna mention in this video are currently on sale over on Backcountry. So check the links in the description below. You might be able to snag a good deal. Now, if your backpacker is anything like me and they like to keep their gear organized, this next gift is gonna be great for them because it is the Osprey Ultralight Pack Cubes. These are, I guess, technically made for travel, but I use these whenever I'm backpacking as well as traveling, so that's a benefit. It's something that they can use not just on backpacking trips. Um, this is what I keep my clothes stored in, and what I like about these is first that they are super lightweight. I have the medium here, and then I also have the large, which is almost twice the size of the medium. And what's great about these is that this one is just under an ounce and this one weighs just barely over an ounce. So they're super lightweight. But the reason that I prefer keeping my clothes in one of these as opposed to say a roll top bag is that I found that when I use a roll top bag, I typically would have to like pull a bunch of clothes out just to get to what I need. Whereas with these, they unzip most of the way open. So it's really easy to just grab that one little beanie that I need to get to without pulling all of my clothes out of the bag. The next gift recommendation that I have, which would go along perfectly with those packing cubes, is socks. And I'm not talking about those like 20 pair for $8 socks that wear out after a day of use. I'm talking about good socks such as these from Smartwool. There are a few other manufacturers out there that are really good. I'm personally a big Smartwool fan. In fact, I came to love Smartwool socks so much from my backpacking trips that I've switched to now almost exclusively using Smartwool socks on a daily basis. I just, they are so much more comfortable. They last a really long time. I've personally had this pair for like five years now, so they are well worth the money. Next up is the Katadyne Bee Free water filter. Now you can get the Bee Free filter by itself, or you can get it with the squeeze bag. Actually, I think they have the squeeze bag in a 0.6 liter and this one, which is a one liter. But I absolutely love this little setup. The filter is super lightweight, really fast flow rate, and easy to clean. And then the bag that it comes with, if you get the one with a bag, is really nice because I've had zero issues with it. It's been very strong. And what's impressive to me is that this one liter squeeze bag is lighter than an empty one liter smart water bottle. So super lightweight setup, highly recommend that. But something that I would recommend along with it is one of these HydroPack Seeker bags. It has the same 42 millimeter thread on the top, so you can screw the Be Free directly on top of this bag. This one is the three liter, which I like just in case where I set up camp is not near a water source. I don't have to make multiple trips. I can just fill up this three liter and I'm good to go. This has been an excellent lightweight water setup for me and your backpacker is sure to love it as well. Now, everything that I'm mentioning in this video can be found over on backcountry.com as well as a slew of other great options. For example, let's say you want to really wow your backpacker and you want to get them a new tent or a new sleeping bag or quilt. 
Those things would be amazing gifts for a backpacker, but I'm not covering any of those things in this video because I feel like they're very specific to the style of backpacking that that person does. So what you can do instead is chat with a backcountry gearhead. This is not going to be your typical customer service experience. These people really know their stuff from their own personal experience in the backcountry, and they'll be able to give you some great options specific for your type of backpacking. And if this is your first time placing an order with backcountry, you can enter coupon code GEARTEST15 at checkout and get 15% off your order. The next gift recommendation that I have is one of these Hyperlite Mountain Gear roll top bags. So they have a couple of different sizes. This one in particular is the medium, and you can put, of course, whatever you want to in these, but this is what I use as my food bag. And if your backpacker is still using a nylon bag of some sort for their food, this is gonna be an excellent upgrade for them because this bag is made out of DCF, which is Dyneema Composite Fiber. And it basically just means that this bag is super strong, super lightweight, and it's waterproof. So one of these bags would make an excellent gift for a backpacker. The next recommendation that I have is to get your backpacker a North Face Hyperlayer FD something. And the reason I say something is because you can get this in a sun hoodie. They also have the same material in a short sleeve shirt and a long sleeve shirt, many different color options. So pick out whatever you think would work best for you. But the reason I recommend this is that the material they use for these is so comfortable. It's super lightweight. It's really soft, really stretchy. I love this. In fact, I loved the sun hoodie so much that I ended up going back and getting one of their short sleeve shirts because typically when I'm backpacking, I'm in a short sleeve and this is by far the most comfortable backpacking shirt that I own. My next recommendation is gonna be one of these Sea to Summit Eros pillows. I kind of felt like Goldilocks for a while because I was trying so many different pillows and none of them were just right until I found the Sea to Summit Eros. These pillows only weigh a couple of ounces. You can get them in multiple different sizes. They pack down really small. They're very easy to inflate, and most importantly, they're really comfortable. This one in particular is the Eros Premium in a large, and I really like this one because if you can kind of see that, it has a little bit of a, a bowl there to keep your head in one place. There's also a curve here that kind of hugs around your shoulder. Really comfortable pillow. This one has been my go-to most of the time. The only issue is that in really cold weather, I have found that my head gets a little bit cold and that is where this guy comes in. This is also a large, this is the Eros Down. It doesn't have that same curve, but it does have a layer of down insulation. So it keeps my head a bit warmer, both of which are really comfortable pillows and they would make excellent gifts. Now, if your backpacker likes to listen to music or podcasts or audiobooks while they're hiking down the trail, or if they like to sit in their tent at night and watch a movie on their phone, this is gonna be an excellent gift for them because these are the Jaybird Vista Bluetooth headphones. These are entirely wireless, so if you're hiking with them in, there's no wires to get in your way. You can listen to just one at a time. So if you want to, you can hike just like this and still be able to hear your surroundings. They are perfect for backpacking because they're nice and rugged. They have a great battery life. The case is not waterproof, but the little earbuds themselves are. So if it starts raining, no issues there. And the other great thing about these is that they can be used not just on backpacking trips. These are the earbuds that I use on a daily basis, so I think they would make a great gift. And my final gift recommendation is the Garmin InReach Mini. This is an excellent little two-way GPS communicator, so if you or your backpacker are out in the woods without cell signal, you can still keep in touch through text messaging through this little guy. And in addition to that, you can do other great little things like uh, route tracking, you can plan routes and waypoints ahead of time, you can request weather updates, a lot of great features packed into this tiny little waterproof package. But probably most importantly is that on the side here, there is a little SOS button. So if anything bad were to happen while you're out there without cell signal, miles away from civilization, you can press that little SOS button and get in touch with search and rescue. So those are all of the gift ideas I have for this video. Again, you can find links to all of it in the description below. If you found this video helpful, you can leave a like. You can also subscribe to see more of my content in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.